Daniel, his fiancée Alicia, and best friend Chris drive along a dirt road in a Georgian mountain range. Daniel gets out of the car to check out the trail. Chris and Alicia slept together. He wants to tell his best friend, but she insists they don't. They casually chat and hike in the Georgian mountains. They climb to the top of the mountain, and Daniel suggests he and Alicia get married in such a beautiful place. Chris pretends to be happy and performs the non-legal wedding ceremony. Alicia and Daniel kiss, and Chris calls the whole thing stupid and leaves. They sit around the campfire, and Daniel suspects something is wrong. He believes Chris will feel left behind, and Alicia promises to set him up with one of her friends. The three of them make a toast. The couple leaves and drunkenly makes love in their tent as Chris stays by the fire. The following morning, someone is rifling through their bags. Chris confronts him. He reveals that his name is Devi, a park ranger, and Alicia asked him to fetch her camera. The couple returns to camp and says they didn't want to wake Chris. The three of them stand together as Devi takes a picture. He directs them to stand in the best spot, but accidentally makes Chris stand on a landmine. Everyone freaks out. Devi volunteers to get help, but reaching the nearest town will take at least four hours. Daniel makes Alicia hide behind some nearby rocks so she's protected. He stays behind. Chris tries to make him leave, but he doesn't want to and promises to get him to the wedding. Devi climbs up a mountain and looks at them with binoculars. Daniel joins Alicia. He gets a signal and they climb higher for better reception. Devi sees them leave and says, finally. Daniel makes a call and asks for help. There's a helicopter and explosives expert on standby, but they won't send anyone. Alicia asks why not, and he says because they don't save whores. They return to Chris, and Daniel reveals that he knows about their cheating. Alicia says now isn't the time to talk about it, and apologizes. She wanted to tell him, but then he proposed and she didn't want to ruin their life together. She begs him to understand. He strokes her face and says he understands, but there's something she doesn't know. There's no signal. And he laughs. Daniel asks Chris what's the chance of stepping on a landmine. He says it's low and is told he's right. Daniel walks into the bushes and fetches a shovel that was right where he left it. He suggests Alicia digs a trench next to Chris so he can jump in and try to survive. They realize he and Devi planned the whole thing. Chris calls his bluff and says there's no way the landmine is active because Daniel wouldn't have risked his life. He agrees and pulls a cord that arms the landmine. They beg him not to do this and he says it's already done. She tries to make him stay by saying that what happened between her and Chris means nothing, but he still leaves. Alicia says he'll pay for murdering Chris. She offers to take his place on the landmine, but it won't work. She finds the cord that was thrown into the trees. She tries to put it back, but it doesn't work. Chris is worried, so she lies, says it's back in place, and sets up a smoke signal. She suggests digging a trench just in case. Ilya is hiking with his dog and sees them. He has a gun and walks up to the pair. Alicia explains that Chris is on a landmine, but he doesn't understand. He threatens to shoot Chris, but doesn't when he realizes what's happening. She asks for help, and he asks if Chris is her husband. She says they're just friends, and he agrees to help. Ilya laughs when he hears their plan about the trench and comments that she would make the perfect Georgian wife as she's doing all the work while Chris does nothing. Alicia fetches water for him and he throws a rock at Chris. She shouts at him and he grabs her arm and asks why she's yelling at him. She explained what was wrong and he thought she was joking about the landmine. Ilya asks why there's a landmine in the first place and she says her fiance did this for revenge. He gets annoyed when Chris talks to him and begins to walk away, so she confesses about cheating on Daniel. He calls her a whore and she swears at him, 
He says he can't help if they swear at him. They offer their bags in exchange for help. He goes through their things and finds Alicia's underwear. He thinks she gave it to him and smells it, but he changes his mind and says he doesn't want it. He wants her. Chris tries to get him to leave her alone by giving him all his money, but Ilya says he doesn't like or want American dollars. He wants the underwear Alicia's wearing. They're angry and he gets annoyed because he thinks he asked for something simple. She agrees to do it so he'll leave Chris alone. He says they don't need Ilya, and she explains she lied about the pin being back in place, and Ilya is their only option. She wraps a sweater around her waist and takes off the underwear. He's happy to have it and starts digging when a radio in his bag goes off. He won't let them use it, and Chris is angry there was a way to call for help the entire time. Alicia says they don't need him to dig if they radio for help. Ilya gets upset because they don't want his help. She says they need him to call someone, not to dig. He asks what she'll do for him in exchange, and insists he's being nice to them when they're not being nice to him. She calms down and asks for help. He hugs her and says yes, but first forces her to play fetch with her underwear. She does what he says, but he wants her to do it again like a dog. She repeats the game, but uses her hand to pick up the underwear. He says he wants to give her the radio, but dogs don't have hands, so she must use her mouth. She does, and he calls her a good dog as he gives her the radio. The person on the other end doesn't speak English, and they try to get Ilya to translate for them, but he wants a sexual favor in exchange. Alicia throws the radio at him and says he can leave. The person on the other end of the radio asks if he's alright, and he wants her to say he's okay. She does, but he's frustrated she uses English. He agrees to translate if she takes off a piece of clothing every time. She wants him to translate, tell him you're alright, and he repeats it word for word, so the person on the other end is confused. Chris calls him a liar, and he says he'll give them another chance at translating to prove he's not. Chris speaks as though he's Ilya, and the man on the radio asks if he's joking and who he's with. Alicia takes off her sweater and translates something else. He does, and says his battery is dying. She takes off her shirt and says the game is over. He fetches his bag and walks away. When he's gone, she starts crying, and Chris tries to reassure her, but Ilya returns. The man on the radio asked a question, and he says the game is still on. She must now undress completely, but both Chris and Alicia refuse. He insults Ilya's mother as a distraction, so she escapes, but the dog catches her. He brings the gun closer, but Alicia is being held hostage. Ilya drags her to nearby bushes and asks if it's okay if they have sex. She says no, which makes him angry, and he rapes her. She grabs a weapon and injures him before trying to reach Chris. The dog attacks him, and he shoots Ilya as he falls back into the trench. He wakes up to find Alicia unconscious next to him. Ilya explains that the landmine is fake, and a real one blows up when you step on it. He comments that Daniel is clever, and finally leaves. Chris promises Alicia he'll kill Ilya. Tanya and Lika are discussing something in their house, when a clean-shaven Chris knocks on the door, saying his GPS isn't working. He asks for a map, and they invite him inside. Ilya is busy working in the garden nearby. Lika prints a map for Chris and invites him to dinner. Ilya enters and sees Chris having a meal with his wife and daughter. Chris cheerfully greets him and he freaks out. He'll drive Chris wherever, as long as they go now. He says it's so nice Ilya will help him and wants to finish his food, but Ilya won't let him. Chris comments it's strange as he doesn't know what he did wrong and is allowed to finish eating. Tanya apologizes for her husband's manners and he says it's fine as he walks up with Chris. 
Ilya says he'll meet him in 15 minutes if his family is left out of this. Chris pretends he doesn't understand and then agrees to meet in an hour. Ilya eats dinner and fetches a phone but doesn't know what to do. His dog stops barking and he investigates. Chris knocks on the door and says there's been an accident with their dog. Ilya finds blood and runs inside to his family. Chris apologizes to Ilya, who threatens him with a gun. Chris shoots Ilya, and when Tanya comes out, he tells her it was an accident. She says she'll do what he wants if he puts the gun away. He says he'll put the gun away if they do what he says. Inside, Chris teases Ilya and makes Tanya sit down as Lika is forced to tie her mother up. Tanya offers him money, and he asks if it's Georgie and Laurie. She says yes, and he says he doesn't like or want Georgie and Laurie. Ilya realizes Chris is repeating the sick game he made them play and begs to be killed so his wife and daughter are left alone. He says he was drunk and alcohol makes him do crazy things. Chris has a pair of Lika's underwear and grabs her because he says he wants the underwear she's wearing and if she doesn't do as he says, her mother will die. He makes her play fetch with her underwear like Ilya did and even makes her repeat it as Alicia had to. Lika cries as Chris stuffs her underwear in her father's mouth. He says he'll shoot her if Ilya drops them. He tells the story of the woman he loved and how he tried to save her when she was in pain. He carried her and then crawled with her, but she drowned in her own blood. That was when he found Ilya's wallet. He's upset and Chris says he knows what's missing. They need to play a game. It's a simple but serious game called Stripper's Roulette. He empties his gun of all bullets except one and says Lika must take off a piece of clothing every few seconds, otherwise he'll shoot her. Ilya begs him not to do this and offers Alicia's underwear for his daughter's life. Chris laughs, starts the game, and insists that Lika has better odds than Alicia. She begins to undress, and he keeps shooting until he shoots her in the head. There's a moment of silence before Tanya starts wailing. Chris looks haunted instead of happy, and curls up in the corner as he looks at Lika's dead body.